Ah, the car dealership. The place we've always been forced to go to experience a new car. But the truth is, most people hate the car dealership. Nobody walks away. Everybody drives today. So when we launched the Mitsubishi Outlander Sport, we didn't make people go to a dealership. We brought the test drive to them. We rigged a real car so that it could be driven live over the internet and created the world's first online test drive. With all the testing we've done so far, it's just been, it's gone further than what we've expected. The feel that you get from controlling this car remotely uh, is, is terrific. The site was our showroom. Visitors were connected directly to the car through multiple live camera feeds. Even the sound design was created from the car itself. Drivers took turns maneuvering the car through an enormous course. And while most played along, some just wanted to do donuts. And others were clearly bent on destruction. Drivers invited their friends to ride along, like Rick from Tallahassee. He piled 26 friends in his car. Word spread both online and off, and in days we had more test drives than the average Mitsubishi dealership gets in years. Our challenge was to get people behind the wheel of the Outlander Sport. To do it, we gave them a whole new way to experience a car. The live drive is test drives from Mitsubishi, the um, Outlander Sport. And um, there are a few things that uh, were interesting, you know, all the insights, you know, people like technology, people like cars, people like playing. Yeah, um, definitely not an amazingly unique original idea, but the fact that they've done it, seemed to do it really well, um, and kind of made it really accessible, it looked, looked like it was uh, you know, really good fun. They almost deliberately allowed people to try and crash the car. That was folded up here that literally like hit every, you know, party trick that <laughs> technology and social media, you know, and this was just like a, a simple, Thing. Um, and I think the people that did it, I didn't do it, but I can imagine if I did, I'd have a lot of fun. I think most of the car brands that have figured out how to communicate within the new platforms, each one of them had, has found a space, and I think Mitsubishi hadn't found a space, and it sort of feels like you found it allows the brand to find a space, you expect to see what's the next bit of fun that they're going to have, so. Yeah, I agree. It feels very much like where's it going to go? Where's it going to go from here? Yeah. yeah. yeah.